Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike, just in case you were new here. And today I thought I would kind of go over um, my test results from my CT scan. So I've got the images, the slices, and all that stuff. So you're going to get to see what is left of my insides. So that's going to be fun. A lot of this, like there will be some things blurred out, obviously, because it's got personal information. I wanted to show you all where my tumor's at what it looks like when looking at these slices if you don't fully understand they're very very thinly sliced photos you're looking at them like this so they you'll see them one by one and it slowly goes up your body so if i had lines that ran across my body and you could take out a piece and look at it that's what these ct scans are there's one on the left side of the screen that is just my body just laying there. But you see my bones, my lungs, my organs, and there's a white speck like right here. And it is this. I was wearing this while doing the CT scan. It just sat there. So there's a pretty sure this rock's radioactive now. Great. Love it. All right, so yeah, this is my body that's right here. Um, and I'll zoom into this so you can see it a little better. Right here is my um, chemo port. This um, darker spot is where they inject the needle and that's where the um, chemo fluid starts flowing into. And then right here, this little line that goes into my heart and it's, it, it pumps chemo throughout my body obviously this thing right here that right there is my necklace that, that little rock is my necklace but the funny thing is if you look closely right here and right here are both my bags you can kind of see them just barely and then over here you're looking at my legs from like my knees up so right here is about about my waistline and we're going to be moving up this way. Right there is the start of this spot, which I don't know if you'll be able to see. Okay. There you go, because I actually took this bag off so I could do this. So this is, um, it starts indenting right here. So all this is screwed up. So there's this, and that's where this part starts. So we're about right there, right at my waistline. We go up a little bit, you can see this little buildup right here. And as it gets closer, you notice it starts getting bigger and bigger. So all this from right here, we go a few more. You can see that this is, this is a part of the tumor. So right here, it is what y'all saw top wound that you saw just now that's that's where we are now and that is also my tumor it is connected to it and this whole thing right here all of this that is pushing all this fat and body tissue up you can still see i mean all of that and it, it's just it keeps going and going and it finally starts to go away so that whole thing right there that's my tumor and that's what's caused me so much issue um these white specks that you see going throughout it like here all this right here all this right here that's all calcification from the radiation um that's what the radiation killed Pretty much that's it now all of this is my interpretation of the file report that we've gotten in um, my my chart my health my chart thing and it, it tells me you know the size of the tumor and all this other stuff and so far even though it's a massive size um, it's stable it's not growing it's not shrinking but it's not growing either and all of this these are my images these are my results this is what we've been able to 
gather from the reports, talking to the doctors here and there throughout the years, and just doing our own little research. But yeah, these are my images. These are all my scans. This is nowhere a way to get you to be like, oh, if you get a scan and you look at it, boom, you have cancer. No, that's not how, that's not what this is. This is me just sharing with anybody interested on what my insides actually look like. Yeah, if you look, you got this metal part right here. That's my surgical scar. That's where they had to go in, cut me open, and it dips down pretty crazy. Um, right here, you can kind of see it coming off my stomach. That's my bag where my original um, ileostomy was. So right here is the small intestine, and you can see it comes up back down like that's the loop of it and it does the same thing over here comes up comes down that's my new ileostomy um but what i wanted to show you and this is what made me go to the hospital um in the first place about right here it's the tumor is, is right here and the small intestine is right here and you can see it's pushing on the small intestine so that's what caused me to go to the emergency room in december is because it had pushed on it so much it had grown and then like shoved it up, shoved itself up against it and was starting to close it off so that's what i had to do there but that's uh there's one big old surgical scar here here's the second ileostomy you can start seeing rib cage and is I believe that's air. Got my liver. Scroll through here and all those black spots or all this uh, black space. Those are my lungs. And then there's there's that little rock. There's that rock just sitting on my chest. Got the start of my lung. And got all the uh, bronchial tubes and just little Oddening spots for your lungs. And you can see right there that little quick shimmer. That's the um, port. So it's just shining away. So yeah. Um, I can change the lungs to where you can see a little bit more lungs. And there was a spot that they had brought up on my lung. And I'm trying to find it. Luckily, it didn't end up being anything. I'd have to read the report again to uh, really understand like what location it's at. Because I'm just kind of going in blind right now. You can see right here, if I'm not mistaken, that is the... Yeah, I believe that's the line that goes to my port. So you can kind of see it come in, go into the heart, and then it just slowly fades away. Let's go back to the tumor. All that is just massive tumor. And it's connected itself to the skin, so that's why that spot won't heal. It's just, it's one of those, um, like I said, I've, I got the results and everything seems fine. I haven't had a chance to talk to the doctor yet because that appointment's coming up. But in our long history of, of doing this, you know, we kind of gathered the basics and what we can and can't just, you know, pick apart and understand like, oh, okay, well, this is what they're talking about. Oh, okay, it's this big, it's, it's, it's that big, blah, blah, blah. What I can do is I can tell you how big the actual tumor itself is. And this particular scan was done um, the 29th. So yeah, the uh, spot in my lung was originally 3.2 centimeters by uh, 1.1 centimeter on January 11th, 2024. Um, the new size of it measures 0.7 centimeters. So it's it's pretty much gone. Gallbladder's fine, pancreas, spleen, adrenals. Uh, there is a non-obstructive kidney stone 
in my kidney. This is the soft tissues that they found. So that the entire tumor, the big old, big old thing right there. Redemonstration of soft tissue mass involving the abdominal wall, the right lower quadrant, and measures approximately 5.2 by 9.4 by 9.5 centimeters. Previously, 5.1, 9.4 by 9.6. When measured in similar fashion, the mass continues to exhibit coarse calcifications internally and extends from the peritoneum to the skin surface. So, that's fun. It goes to my skin surface, but it it, it has remain the same so it's i mean it doesn't sound like a lot but when you're talking about cancer it's quite a bit so it's two inches by three and a half inches by three and a half inches i mean that's that's a decent size i mean no this isn't three and a half inches but no that's crazy so i mean it's it's a it's a, it's a pretty big tumor i mean even the smallest of tumors are big tumors you know they make um they, they make very big impacts on people's lives, so, you know. Uh, that is my CT. So far, looks like everything's stable and doing what it's supposed to. I'll be going and doing chemo on the 17th. And then I've got some friends coming down from up north that are going to visit. we got an Airbnb, and I'll try and get some photos and pictures and videos of that. Uh, I did go out with a friend this past weekend that I hadn't seen in quite a long time. But we went out on his boat, we went out to these fancy restaurants, and I did get some footage of that, but that'll be in a separate video. So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped in some kind of way. And I hope you learned a little bit more about me and what my insides look like. So, but anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. And until the next one, I will see ya.